But if there is a real problem and there is complete disobedience and complete refusal from the wife, then how should I react? Who amongst the married can give me an answer? So if there is complete refusal and complete disobedience from her, the first step is to advise her, remind her, admonish her. And how does he admonish her? <laughs> so is admonishing her, threatening her with taking all the children and taking the passports and taking all her papers such that she's going to remain in the country like a refugee? Is this admonishing her? No, this is threatening. No, rather, when you give a wa'ad, a reminder, an admonishment, how is it? He says, buy for her a gift. Now, you buy a gift and you send a message with a big red heart, love heart, and then you write sweet words to her and you say, oh, my precious wife, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa advised me to be good to you and advised you to be good to me, so fulfill your rights. Because you want from her to return back to you and to be good to you and live with you in, in an appropriate manner. You don't want her to disobey you even further. So, so admonishing and correcting and rectifying the marriage, it's important. So if she says that, okay, I repent to Allah, then what do you say to her? Ah. If she is sorrowful and she says, okay, I repent and I'm sorry, then how should you behave? Do you say to her, no? It's not that easy. I need to teach you the lesson. Don't you remember yesterday you did this and this and this? No, not like this. It's like Allah subhanahu wa mentioned in the Quran that if they return to your obedience, then the Shaykh said that don't keep that file opened. Close that file because each time if she says sorry and she returns back and you say, but I need to teach that lesson. And do you remember what you did the other day? Then this is going to be a continuation of those problems. But if she does not react in a manner which is appropriate and she remains completely disobedient and refusing, then you throw the present to her. So you, you throw the, she throws it back to you and she says to you, you've got no style and no taste in buying gifts. Anyway, so he replies and he says, look, my taste is good because I chose you. 